January 18th, 2018. This video is going to be on the world's deepest earthquake. Can anybody guess where the world's deepest earthquake was, when it was, and how deep it was? Well, for starters, um, it's not going to be fake news, as some websites clearly have stated here. Uh, deepest quake in recorded history has struck the magma layer. So no matter how many views a video gets or how many subscribers they may appear to have, does not mean that what they say is true. Don't be fooled by uh, things like that. At any rate, they stated that this earthquake that was this week, 612 kilometers in the Celebes Sea by the Philippines, was the world's deepest quake in recorded history, which has struck the magma layer. Well, I tried to explain this person who uh, made this video a week ago. Uh, I stated to them that uh, the video just wanted to give you a heads up that the two deepest quakes in history was in Vanuatu at 736 kilometers deep. Um, and the other one, that was in 2004, the other one was in 07 in Fiji, 722 kilometers deep. Well, just the other day here, a day and a half ago, we actually had one that was deeper than this one here in 2004, which was the one that was 736 kilometers deep. This one now is 740 kilometers deep, which was just a day and a half ago here on the 16th, 5.0 in Fiji, which is deeper than the five than the 4.2 that struck in Vanuatu back in 2004. So here we are almost 13 years later, four kilometers deeper, but I've actually done a little digging and de digging today and found out that this one is not even the deepest one. There was actually one that's even deeper. And here we go. If we go and we search, it says 848 kilometers. But wait a minute, that's not actually the deepest. Why is that? Because if you click here, it tells you that, sorry, this event could not be found. Okay, so let's look at the next one. The next one was here, stated as 831 kilometers. Now this is in Pakistan. Pakistan is not an area known for such deep, deep earthquakes. If you click on this, it appears to be quite legit. They even show you the waveform, the helio plot. You can listen to the waveform here. However, if you go to a different website to back up your source, just to make sure you have at least two sources that validate the same thing, I'm over here now at Geoscience Australia, and Geoscience Australia says that this earthquake, they're not showing the one, the other one that was 846 kilometers. It's not even showing. And the one that is in Pakistan, 831 kilometers here, is showing as an error. It states, error ellipse, semi-major, 3,800 kilometers, seven, semi-minor, 130 kilometers. So being that it's showing here as an error, and Pakistan is not an area known for such extremely deep earthquakes, I'm going to agree with Geoscience Australia and throw that one out. So then that leaves us with the deepest earthquake that is on Geoscience Australia, would be the next one down, which is in Fiji in 1972, 806 kilometers deep. And it is also the next one down after the one here in Pakistan on Fiji as well, 1972, October the 25th, and this earthquake here was 806.3 kilometers deep. So if we click on this here, we can then see uh, it's got some data here behind it. Um, and uh, let's see here. 
Yeah, this one does appear to be legit. So 806.3 kilometers deep is the deepest earthquake to have ever struck uh, in recorded history. If the other two are errors, which I'm tending to favor what the other website states because I'd like to have at least two major websites agree. 806.3 kilometers. So let's go and see how deep that was. Well, on the previous website or previous video, we saw here how they stated that the deepest earthquake in history is 612 kilometers deep. Well, let's see. 612 kilometers deep is 380 miles. Now, we just saw here that the deepest one is 806.3 kilometers deep, and that's 501 miles. So, that's 221 miles deeper is the world's deepest earthquake. A whopping 501 miles deep, 806 kilometers. That is really, really deep. So there you go, folks. That is the world's deepest earthquake. Um, I am a little bit uh, interested in this one here, why it popped up, why nobody's showing it just yet. Perhaps they're hiding it to do some more research on it just to validate it. Uh, but that is... Uh, what I have discovered as the world's deepest earthquake. I have another video coming on some earthquakes that appeared today that I thought were quite interesting and I'm going to be making a video on that. And uh, that's it folks. If you like my channel please subscribe. A little bit about myself real quick is um, how do I do my earthquake forecasting when I do do forecasting is um, well I uh, use several different factors. I have over a dozen that I use. Planetary alignment, solar flares, solar activity, geomagnetic activity, uh, historic seismology, um, where I look back in history and uh, use historical events um, and analyze them. Sometimes it's quite interesting what you discover and we'll discuss that at some other video. Lunar phases, solar phases, lunar eclipses, solar, eclipse, solar eclipses, Bible prophecy in light of the last day events, um, animal behavior, volcanic activity, harp, CERN, silent zones, weather, wind storms, um, and of course my own proprietary formula. So that's how uh, a little bit about myself, what I do with my forecasting, how I, how I utilize my tools. A lot of other people, they use maybe just one factor or some people will just say Nibiru and they'll use Nibiru as their their source or solar events uh, you know solar activity some people just go straight with silent zones I tend to be more um, I look at the big picture and uh, I have about 14 different things I use so it's quite complicated but uh, at any rate that's how I do my forecasting uh, some of the tools I use are, you know, NOAA, um, geomagnetic forecasting, USGS, EMSC, um, another site that I like to go to for um, um, data. Some of the sites I go to are, um, there's these are the different sites here, the German Research, GeoNet New Zealand, Geoscience Australia, Natural Resource Canada, Mexican Seismology, Icelandic. All, this is a whole list of about a dozen different uh, data sources that uh, I utilize. And then, of course, other things are the Smithsonian Institute when I'm using my volcanic research, uh, Volcano Discovery, um, IRIS. I use helioplots. Um, and so, uh, if you're interested in these things, please subscribe, forward my channel to your friends, help others to subscribe as well. Um, I am now set up to make videos. I will be making more. And uh, as I start to learn more about editing, I will be making more and more frequently. Uh, if anybody knows how to find a good program for uh, highlighting things like rather than just using my mouse I found some programs like but they're not very good so for example I have this one here um, and 
it happens I, I highlight things but then it just keeps everything highlighted so for every single tab I happen to go to you know it'll just uh, yeah it just pop pop right up on everything and I, I don't like that so I this is not a very good uh, thing here this program so if you know of any program that I can use to highlight uh, websites and um, while I'm doing my videos please please do let me know uh, you can send me a personal email or put it in the messages on the bottom. Uh, I would like to make a video here on some of the helio plots that I have found quite interesting lately. But at any rate, I want to keep this video short. So uh, please subscribe, like my channel, and uh, forward it to others as well. Feel free to comment, ask questions, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.